Okay, so today I'm back here in the shop at our CNC lathe and I'm making hundreds of these little washers that go in our Geologist Squeeze Box product. These are some of the things that take all the load when you're cranking down on it and help spread that out. So I thought you might like to see the process of how these are made and the fact that really pretty much every part in that box comes into our shop as raw metal or raw plastic and gets totally transformed. Okay, so this is what our CNC lathe looks like. And in here, we've got the metal three quarter inch stainless steel bar that this is going to spin very fast. And one of these cutting tools back here is going to come up and do various operations to it. We change multiple tools. So I'll show you what that process looks like. At the end of the operation, it gets cut off and falls down in that bin. And then at the end of uh, 10 of them, we'll collect them out and debar them. I'm gonna run this program in option stop mode, which means after every operation, it's going to stop so we can look at what's happened. So when I press cycle start, door is gonna close. First, we're going to come in and take a facing cut, meaning that we're going to trim the end to length. And then we're going to profile the outside. So you can see that we've now got a, a shiny surface there. Next, we're going to come in and center drill with a stiff, small drill. And it's hard to see through the coolant, unfortunately. And so that center drill puts a really small hole here in the end to guide the main drill bit. So we drill on center. Next, it's going to come in with the drill bit for the final hole size. So now we've got this larger hole here in the end of the material. And now we're gonna come in and part it off. So we're gonna cut the washer off using the parting blade. It's gonna fall into the bucket. It also chamfers or removes the sharp edge from the backside. Okay, so it's parted off. Now it's going to come in with a gripper and grab the stock, pull it out, grab it again. So now we have the material pulled out to the length of the next part. Then it will come in and trim that to rough length. And we're reset right where we started, ready to make another washer. So that whole process takes about a minute and 15 seconds without all the stops. So now let's run it without the stops and let the machine produce a washer, then we'll go digging them out of the bin. Okay, so I've let the machine run. It's done 10 of the washers. So I'm gonna get my Klein gloves. These are my favorite cut gloves right now. And I did a, a short on these actually. So we'll take these gloves and we'll go fishing for parts, pull them all out and then we'll deburr. I'm going to take these and blow them off.
Okay, now we're ready to deburr, which if you look at the parts that came off of the lathe, one side where we drilled looks pretty good, but on the back side, though it's a little hard to see, there's this ring of metal sticking up. That's from where we cut it off. So I take some padded jaw pliers. These are some doyles from Harbor Freight and grip the washer in there and take a drill with just a big countersink bit on it. And I'll hit both sides of that center hole real quick to take any sharp burrs off. Make sure you're not gonna cut yourself if you have to take it apart. You never wanna leave sharp edges on a part. So I do that and after several hundred times, we've got bags of washers ready to go into your product. Now, what about all the chips that you saw me dump out? Well, luckily this machine has a conveyor system that hauls them out and into a chip bin. So you can see, we take that to a recycling center, we separate it by stainless steel, steel, aluminum, and so on, and that all gets recycled. 